as you can see here in Mo, in uh, Exodus 19, and if you start from uh, verse 1, you will see that the Lord said to Moses that to consecrate the people because he's going to descend on Mount Sinai. My God, my God. And in verse, verses 16 to 22, this is when it happened. And that was the first time that the people of Israel heard that sound, the sound of the trumpet. And this is why in Rosh Hashanah, hallelujah, they have the blowing of the shofar, the sound of the trumpet. So they may remind themselves that the first trumpet blast they heard on Mount Sinai came from the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's read it again. On the morning of the third day, there was thunder and lightning with a thick cloud over the mountain. Amen and amen. God is about to descend. In a very loud trumpet blast. You imagine, the Lord said, I'm going to come down. And they heard a trumpet blast coming out of nowhere. All they see in the beginning was the thick cloud. Hallelujah. And then suddenly, they heard that trumpet blast. Everyone in the camp trouble. Everyone in the camp trouble. You guys, when you hear the trumpet blast earlier, the blowing of the shofar, you don't know the symbolism behind that. That's mean. The Lord God is in the midst. We ought to fear Him. Every one in the camp trembled. They never heard that before. They didn't even expect that. And they heard it. This is what the blowing of the shofar in this season is all about. God is in the midst. The glory has descended. And we ought to fear Him and trouble before Him. And they say in the scripture, the whole mountain trouble. Not even the people. The whole mountain trouble. And God has to say something very significant to Moses. He said, go down and warn those people not to come near me. They will be killed. They will be killed. Even the priests. Hallelujah. Even the priests. He said, they're not clean enough to come near me. Go warn them. And later on he said, put the edge of protection 
So they may know this part is only and not to come where I am. And then later on, the Lord God was able with his finger. Hallelujah. He was able to give the thing coming Mitch. You imagine a nation riddled in sin coming out of slavery. And God said, you know, this, these people, they are unruly. They are sinners. I will have to give them my coming Mitch. My comments. And in Exodus 20, hallelujah, this is when the Lord gave to Moses the Ten Commandments. As a preacher now, they are saying unto the church, they do not have to obey the commandments of God. They ought to fear because God can destroy them and in this day when we are starting the 10 days of all for what to be reminded how big God is that we must Obey him. Obey his command. And today, in Rosh Hashanah, it's also very special. This is the head of the year. The beginning of the year. Hallelujah. According to God's calendar, God said three times a year, I will come down. Some of you, you cannot see what's going on in the spirit. But the Lord God is in the midst. And he said, nobody should come to me empty-handed. They must present a gift unto me. And give me honor. This morning, there is a sister in a, in a frustration. And I hope you are listening. In your first question, to seek to get the blessing of God instead of God, you send an email thinking that God is obligated, God is in, in his compassion, bless his people. He's not obligated to bless you. In the day when God is coming down, to take account of his people and to decide if some people hallelujah do you know today what's going on god decide who's gonna live who's gonna die who's going to inherit his blessing who is not is going to inherit his blessing it's the time to be careful with your mouth of what you are saying last week i received so many emails People are frustrated and saying things out of faith because the devil wants you to miss it. This is the season when the angels of God are reporting unto God. Hallelujah. Of what is going on. When they hear that blast, the trumpet blast. Hallelujah. It was done by the angels of God. Saying, God is in the midst. Hallelujah. Moses, you can come, come up the mountain. But as far as those people, Hallelujah. Tell them to stay away. Hallelujah. This is why I have to tell you that. I hope I can give you the picture. You ought to fear God. This is why you come before God. 
we forgive. We forgive. And with your prayer request. We forgive first. And with your prayer request. Why you do that? To say unto him, I honor you with my gift. I want to obey you now. Would you forgive me? This is the time of repentance. Like I said, I, I was talking to my wife. I said, this is R and R. This is the time to get some R and R. You repent and revelation flow. Amen and amen. And Moses went up there. Guess what? And God gave him the revelation of the Ten Commandments on how the people will be able to know how to live. Because you imagine they were coming out from slavery, unruly, totally crazy, filled with violence in their heart. And God said, yes. Here are the Ten Commandments, Moses. Give to the people of Israel my command so they may know how to live before me. Hallelujah. Because they couldn't stand my sight. Stand in my sight. Otherwise, you know, I felt like killing them. This is what happened even now. When you do not obey the commandments of God. This is why Paul said, The salary of sin is death. God cannot tolerate the sinner. And especially in this time. The time of repentance. I would like to say to you, Christian, you think these things are done away. They are not valuable anymore. Guess what? Listen to me. Hallelujah. I have many revelations. The Lord Jesus talked to me. The Holy Spirit talked to me. The Father talked to me. Tonight, I want you to go in your room and repent. You may say, I do not have any sin in my heart. I already repented. Guess what? You still need to repent. Jesus said when he came on earth. Hallelujah. Repent for the kingdom of God is here. I'm telling you. On Rosh Hashanah, the kingdom of God is here. Repent. That means take off the old man and embrace the new man. Take off the old Adam and embrace the new Adam. God wants you to become a new man in the likeness of Christ. This is what Rosh Hashanah is all about. And let's start the 10 days of all by giving praise to God and testify of everything that he has done. And I say these things in Jesus name. Amen and amen. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the world, to heal the sick, to pray for the afflicted, and reveal unto them the purpose of God for their lives. Surely the Sovereign Lord does nothing without revealing his plan to his servants, the prophets. The Lord wants me to give you an opportunity to be a part of his movement through Lord Jesus' house of prayer. According to Malachi 3, verse 8 to 12, you can do so by sending your tithes and offering online or to the address listed on our website. All tithes and offerings are prayed over, and whatever words the Spirit will bring forth, 
these I will report. And the Lord promised to bless you and to open for you the floodgates of heaven. Remember, we are here for you to help you turn your house into a house of prayer. Amen and amen.